My name is Iwan Pritchard. I'm the head teacher here at the School Giving Gebrag Broeder. We're uh, 11 to 18 comprehensive. We opened in 2012 uh, with 71 pupils. We are now just uh, just over 900 pupils. Part of my role in in, in ensuring that uh, we're leading the change in the curriculum here at Broeder um, has been to to facilitate that change and to empower the staff and the the students and, and the stakeholders to look at the new curriculum as a, a challenge, but as a worthwhile challenge that will create something bespoke here for, for the east of Cardiff, for, for our cluster. In order to develop a curriculum that was suitable for the cluster, it was important as well that we gather the opinions of all parents of the cluster schools and also of all the staff in the cluster schools as well. So we sent out a question there to ask what mattered to them regarding um, what they wanted um, their children to learn. Um, as a small school um, and as a head teacher of a very small school, the limited number of staff, it's very much where do you start on a new curriculum? How do we begin planning for the new curriculum? Um, and working collaboratively with uh, the cluster and the primary schools within the cluster has been really beneficial for us um, in that we can share that responsibility and share those ideas and do a lot of research on what makes a good curriculum. Um, and that's led us to where we are today uh, with a curriculum I think is ideal for our pupils um, from nursery up to um, the key stage three, end of key stage three. So it's been a really um, great opportunity to just be able to discuss how we see progression going from the very young children at three to right up to the 16 and how important it is for us to really um, map that journey. So we've been discussing meeting every Tuesday and we've been talking about how would that look in different key stages but also how we would link it all up and make sure that the progression um, makes sense for us, that uh, it, it's kind of... Um, adapts with the progression steps that's been made by the curriculum but also that we as, um, as a cluster can see that um, as something we want the children to know and that the progression's there as they move into from primary to secondary that we can look back and everybody knows the journey that they've had. Um, we started the journey of creating a vision by thinking about what were the non-negotiables for us as head teachers um, of the schools things like the Welsh element, rights of the children, uh, lots of different things. So we brainstormed all of the non-negotiables for us, the things that had to be in the curriculum and that had to be covered. Um, and then we went to parents, we went to children, and we asked them, you know, what, what mattered to them, what was important to them. So we collected um, the staff's opinion, what mattered to them, parents, children. We brought all of that together then, and then all of that shaped our vision as we, as we moved forward. So this vision is important to us, to our community, and it might not be relevant to other communities and other schools and clusters across, um, across Wales, but to us it is what's important um, and what matters moving forward. We, I've had lots of conversations, lots of my friends are deputies as well, my partner's a teacher in a different cluster, and it's really interesting when you talk about what you'll be delivering. Everyone's got an opinion on it. Some people think it's a fantastic idea. Some people think it's too prescriptive. We're going to be trialling it in September. We've worked hard in our year groups. We've created knowledge organisers. So we're very clear on where we're going to go in the first instance. But we're also very clear that this is our trial year and nothing's going to be set in stone. Teachers haven't got to start panicking and thinking, right, I'm going to do everything this year and I will be ready. And, you know, we've been very realistic. Lots might still change. You know, our ideas at the moment seem ambitious, they seem exciting, but, you know, the proof of the pudding is going to be with what the children achieve. Are we able to set goals and assess them relevantly? Um, so that's kind of where we're at at the moment. So it's exciting, but, you know, we, we're still got our map for next year of what we want to achieve as a steering group and what we want the teachers to achieve with our pupils in the classroom. So in terms of the humanities and mapping the humanities, there have been a lot of questions of course and I think one of the most golden opportunities we've had recently 
is to be able to map it from the start. And um, what we've seen recently is that there's a lot of repeat in terms of the topics studied. So they might, for example, the tutors, they might have studied it more than once at primary level and then again at secondary. Um, and it's just been nice really to be able to map that from the start. We arrived at the cluster slightly later than everybody else, um, about a year later. Um, and one of the first things that um, we did was um, to visit a local school. So the teachers would give the children um, some really important information that they believe would be um, valuable. And for example, if you're looking at the Celts or the Romans, that information then, the knowledge, mainly knowledge, would be given to the children. And then the children then, as the term would go on, would then uh, use pupil voice to research and maybe some more, but also to create maybe activities or give them some valuable experiences. The collaborative work has been very, very important in our curriculum design because we've always been a close-knit cluster in the Broeden cluster and we've always worked very well together and we've collaborated successfully on a number of projects. By collaborating we were able to share ideas, share concerns, which was important, and to discuss different issues but come to decision, a collective decision together, which, which brought strength to the process. We were also to, able to share resources and very importantly to share staff expertise and as a consequence then we were able to create a rich and relevant curriculum especially for the children in our cluster which was so so important. In terms of leading on the um, technological side of things, um, despite Covid, a uh, lot of things came to an end. We were very, very fortunate. We did find platforms which meant we were able to continue with our work. Um, that being, we were able to still meet virtually and we were able to find platforms which allowed um, over 100 people so that all uh, members of staff were able to meet and meet within their year groups and also then to create documents so that all teachers could, they had their planning books, they had their um, resources, all electronically so they were able to literally get carry on as if almost nothing had happened and it didn't um, it didn't impede on the progress we were making um, with the curriculum development in the cluster. You know, I, I come from the Clean Peninsula, from North West Wales. Well, you know, there is no way that um, the needs of, of the pupils of Vascopotunog um, is, is the same or are the same as, as the needs of, of the pupils of, of East of Cardiff. Their experiences are different. Yes, there might be some core knowledge that it's the same, but, but a lot of it will be different. And therefore, it's, it's more or less impossible, uh, I would say, to go and buy something off the shelf that will meet those needs. The most important thing, I th think, in taking staff with you, we've used the um, Kubler-Ross um, diagram, which... Um, shows you that this is not a straight line <laughs> and there will be ups and downs and there will be you know frustrations and we've showed um, staff that from the very beginning that in any major change you know there will be these the feelings and you know we acknowledge that from the very beginning and then staff could see that the frustrations or the panic you know were, were the natural part of being part of any major change like the curriculum for Wales.